Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, we just wanted to show these gorgeous uh, pots that are just amazing. We got these at Lowe's and it was such an incredible deal if you are looking for something attractive to go into the garden then this set is definitely worth looking at. Um, it is a set of three and it's already bundled together. Um, $24.98. And we got uh, three different color variations. As you see, the green is just popping. That green is awesome. And then you have the multicolor pots here as well. And then this is like a bluish gray. But $24.98 for a set of three. And so you get the matching pots but uh, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this particular video is not just the pots, but I wanted to talk about having an herb garden. Now, if you're trying to uh, keep your herbs organized and labeled and uh, understanding what you have planted, especially if you're new to gardening, you want to make sure that you know what you're eating and what you've planted. Containers help you to do that. Now you can certainly use plastic containers or any kind of container that you want, but we decided to get these instead. Uh, we have a lot of things that we have started in uh, seeding cups or planting cups, and so they need to be transplanted somewhere. They need to be transplanted, and we figured these would be great. We have uh, various basils and dill and uh, parsley and um, rosemary and thyme and all kinds of things that need to be transplanted cilantro and so we have these pots and several other pots that we've gotten uh, that were at a really great price what do you think about these pots Rebecca I like them a lot, especially the multicolor ones. The multicolor ones? Yeah, me too. I love those. What about you, Sophia? Yeah. Like the, 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 the green and the blue. Yes, absolutely. They are all beautiful pots. Now these right here are plastic. These are made of stoneware. So they're they're gonna be very strong and durable. The plastic too, because this is really thick plastic. So those are pretty as well. But these right here, <laughs> these are own and popping and I just love that price a set of three for $24.98 so that potting mix that we just mixed up right there is going in these pots that's what it's for and so we can begin to transplant some of our herbs that we started in little cups or trays they were started in trays but they're going to find their permanent home inside of these beautiful pots so I just wanted to share this with you all, those of you who have a Lowe's near you. Um, they have similar pots like these at walmart.com as well. So if you wanted to order from walmart.com, they have similar pots. And I do believe that they have some free shipping deals as well. Um, it may not be these exact pots, but they're similar. Um, if you wanted to try at your local Lowe's or even order them from Lowe's.com, I'm not sure if they have free shipping, but I do know that uh, Walmart did have free shipping. So this is a great idea for those of you who are container gardening. You don't just have to do herbs. Uh, you can do greens as well. And we do have greens growing in containers. And so this is a great idea for those of you who want to um, have an attractive some people don't care about having a cute garden. Some people do. Uh, we have kind of a mixture of both. There are areas of our garden to where we just didn't care. We just put stuff where it wanted to grow and just say, go for what you know. But there are some areas that we do try to keep cute. Nothing's wrong with cute at all. For those who think cute doesn't matter, it's okay to have a cute garden. And it's okay to have a garden that just works. You know, whatever you can have, do what you want to do. Uh, as long as you have food growing, all right? That's the whole idea is to have some food growing. As a matter of fact, we have some very strange looking containers around here, don't we? We have what you call some cow lick containers. <laughs> we showed those last year. We had a really, we got a really great deal on Facebook Marketplace, but cow lick containers, um, they used to have some farm stuff in there for cows. I'm not sure what cow lick stuff is, but all I know is we have them now to grow food in and they are working just great. Want to say something, Sophia? I think kind of like that, um, that salt stuff, like what we got for the goats. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> it's a, a big chunk of salt. 
we we got one from our one a smaller one for our goats but um this uh based on what sophia said is for cows for cattle and so they are kind of big they're really big but they make great grow containers and so we have them got them at a great price and they are doing just fine with growing food aren't they <laughs> doing just fine so we're done with this video I just wanted to share this information with those of you who are looking for alternative ways of growing your food. If you don't have a whole lot of space for um, raised beds, you can't dig in the soil or you have rough soil conditions, containers is also another way to go. With that, we are out.